Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Marvin. Today, we've got Parker's Heritage, Double Barrel. 2022 release. I said that I was finished filming for the year, believe it or not. Walk into the store, and this one kind of fell in my lap. Bottom drop, bottom drop. Just when I think I'm out, they keep pulling me back in. I had no plans of filming any more videos for the channel for the rest of the year. I've got several videos that I need to get edited and get out online and get uploaded for you guys. So at this point, I had shut down production. The only thing I planned on doing was getting everything edited and just giving you some more content. But before I get into that, I just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. You know who you are, those guys who watch the channel. I really appreciate it. I set a personal goal. I did not reach that goal, and I am not upset because I have met some very good people along the way. I wanted to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I didn't put that out there. I just wanted to see if it would happen. It didn't happen, but like I said, I am not upset. I met some great guys online. I met some great viewers. I've conversated with some of you guys. The guys who have given me bottles, oh my gosh, man, I really appreciate it. Shout out to my man CA, shout out to my man Kenny, my man Nick with the samples, my man Andrew with the new glass. Thank you, I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Now let's get into the bottle and how I got it. I go into the store, they've got a Russell's 10 behind the counter. I asked the guy, I say, look, how much is the Russell's 10? He pulls it off, tells me how much it is, I kind of shook my head. He says, well, I have the uh, Rebel 10. I said, well, how much is it? He pulls it off, and as he's pulling it off, I see this H, very beautiful H for Parker's Heritage, and I am shocked. I mean, my jaw almost hit the counter. I asked the guy, I said, I said, what's that back there? He, he didn't know what it was. He was like, uh, I can get you a price check. He gets me a price check, $195.99. I walk around the store a little bit, I look on my phone a little bit, and then I just, I, I, I had to scoop it up. I, I had to get it. I have never, ever in my life seen another Parker's Heritage out in the wild before. My man Devon got me this because he went down to Kentucky and he went on a distillery tour and they had some things uh, back in the gift shop and he paid retail for this which was 99, that's all it was, and I gave him the 99. I looked up the MSRP for the double barrel blend is actually 174.99, so it's basically 175. So I only spent 20 bucks over retail. Let's get it to the nose. Man, that nose is just heavy vanilla, heavy brown sugar, heavy oak, it's got some spice. That old oak and brown sugar together, man, it, it just, oh, wow. It, it, it blends beautifully. I'm picking up a little bit of chocolate. Let's get into the palate. Wow. All of that transfer is over. Heavy vanilla, heavy oak. That chocolate note comes over. It is... It is oak from the front to the back. I Some of those red apples, I did pick some of that up in the nose, but it's like red apples in there. So I picked some of that up and that's transferring over too. It is finishing with a nice char. Look, the way they blended this thing, it is 66% of a 13 year old bourbon that they barrel uh, in a second barreling number three char for about four weeks. Then they blend that with a 15 year old bourbon that has not been barreled at all. And once they mingle the things together, they put it in a bottle and it comes out to be 132.2 proof. So it's got some proof behind it and it is packed full of flavors. Let's go back into the nose. Yeah, more of that oak comes out. That heavy vanilla cream, man. 
Let's go back into the palette. It's rich. It is really rich. It is rich, it is chocolate, it is spicy. All of that vanilla, caramel, burnt brown sugar, all of that transfers over to the palate. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to give a hand to the people over at uh, Heaven Hill for putting together this Parker's Heritage uh, Double Barrel Blade. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into the breakdown, because I know that's what you guys are looking for. While I'm getting into the breakdown, let me pour some more, because this thing is just that good. So, is it worth the chase? Yes. It is worth the chase. Based on this bottle, and this is the only bottle that I have that I've cracked. I have not cracked the orange uh, curacao. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, because I've heard things, on, well, I've read things online, and it was kind of 50-50 the way they reviewed this thing. Some people hated it and trashed it, and some people said it was just okay. I don't know if I'll ever even open that bottle. But based on this bottle right here, this double barrel blend, I would always chase this thing. It is very rich. The flavors come through beautifully. Everything is well balanced. Some of those uh, oaky notes can be a little sharp, but it is great. And the oak is from the front to the back. Now it is a drying oak. It is very oak forward. Uh, is it worth over retail? I paid over retail 20 bucks because like I said, it, it MSRPs for about 175. I would go as high as my 30. It is, it is that good. Um, so is it worth over retail? Yes, but I'm going to say if you're not a big fan of a lot of oak or drying oak, you may want to stay away from it. Would I give it to a new bourbon drinker? At 132.2 proof, I am not taking this thing anywhere near a new bourbon drinker, especially with a lot of those oaky notes that come across. No, it is not being given to a new bourbon drinker. Will I always have a bottle on the bar? I will always have a bottle of this on a bar because I am babysitting it. I am a cheap dude. I am not always going out and spending this type of money on bourbon. So I am a cheap dude. But with that being said, let the whiskey flow. Never run out unless you're headed to a drop. Till next time.